Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing a new series called Pajama Chat. And it's basically where I'm in my pajamas and I sit down and I chat to you guys, I get my tea, and I'm just gonna chat about some things that have gone in my life. Um, some of them may be sad, some may be happy. Um, just experiences that I wanna share with you guys and advice and it gives me a chance to chat to you and be very casual about things that I want to talk about kind of raw on this channel not to say that I'm going to do loads of videos that are really depressing and sad but to share my experiences and hopefully give you some advice on the things I've been through so get your pyjamas on get your cup of tea and let's chat so today I want to talk about friendships and I feel like this is a very important topic because not a lot of people really talk about how it feels to actually be lonely and without friends and this is very scary for me because I don't really like talking about things that are very private. Uh, I hope that this video really gives you insight to not feel bad about being lonely because being lonely and alone is so much different. So in my friendship groups I've been through about six to eight friendship groups probably over my, my school life probably more than that but I can't really remember um, I've been in and out of friendships quite quickly and so for me I am very honest with my feelings I will not be swayed by somebody's opinion um, obviously if it's like a general conversation like do you like chocolate or I don't know or maybe not something like that I mean like if someone is being really like bitchy talking about somebody else talking about somebody behind their back I will be the person to be like that's wrong I will be honest with myself and if I'm not happy with the friendship group I'm with then I will genuinely leave them and try and find another friendship group the reoccurring experience was I was in a friendship group and they would find somebody much better off than me and they would find somebody who's much more dramatic much more intense and they would go towards them and for me I'm very mature in my decisions it's gonna sound really vain but it's, it's not my maturity level is much higher than my actual age and it has been like that since I was probably about seven or eight years old so when I was eight I was probably about 13 mentally I've always tried to find people who are on the same mental age as me and that is very difficult anyone watching this has most likely been to school always going through school now and you will know that if you are somebody who thinks differently from other people you will get separated and you will feel lonely and that is just a fact and it's very very sad and I feel like this is so messed up and more people should get support in this but once you find that really good friend that you absolutely love um, it's so worth it honestly guys and I just want to tell you guys that I was lonely for quite a long period of my life at school Um, I want to say not maybe not my period of my life maybe the past two years before I left school I was quite lonely in sections of my in sections of my school life because a lot of people would be too dramatic for me and I just couldn't handle it because I didn't like the drama I didn't like immaturity I wanted a decent friend who would be there for me and not everyone has that intention that's that's just a sad fact about it a lot of people want to use you for things that you have and whether it be good advice or um, security because they know that they that you're going to stick up for them when they're in trouble and I understand that and that's a good thing but the way I'm describing it is the fact that they want to use you to make it to make them feel secure when they're not secure themselves and that is dangerous because they will cut you off and move on to somebody else as soon as somebody new comes along and this is in friendships and this is this goes on with relation relationships as well it's all about being secure in yourself and once you find that and this is really hard because i'm probably speaking to a lot of teenagers right now watching this video it's very hard to find that but if you understand what i'm talking about then you'll know that it's hard but it's so worth it. I was bullied, um, I would say emotionally, the past six months before I left school. And when it came to going into university, I was pooping myself because I was really, really lonely. This is so hard to explain because it's so hard talking to a camera about it because I want you guys to understand my feelings, but it's really hard because I'm not used to talking about these sort of things. I wanna talk about these things because that's why I'm here. So, I wasn't, I was, I was feeling very, very lonely and feeling lonely is an embarrassing thought. And you don't want to share this with people because it's embarrassing. You don't want to say, oh, okay guys, I'm lonely. Like, people don't talk about not having friends. And this is why I want to talk about this today because you shouldn't feel embarrassed for not having friends. Not everyone has friends all the time. That is just the way it is. Sometimes you have to let go of a friendship group to move on to the next one. And you need to make that step in letting go of that old friendship. That is just the way it is. And that's what I had to deal with. And sometimes it's so worth it letting go of a friend who's so not right for you. Waiting that six months to a year or however long, it might even be a few days, to find somebody new. And it does get better. I'm not just saying that for like emotional quality of this video. I'm genuinely saying that it does get better guys. And I want to just let you know 
I was pooping myself when I went into university. I didn't want my university life to be like my school life. I didn't want to meet people who would backstab me, who would leave me in the cold, who would leave me on my own, who would ignore me. I was ignored for a long, long time and there was no reason for it. <clears throat> I would totally be ignored. I would say things and they wouldn't even acknowledge my existence and having that pressure on you and leaving school at the same time is really hard because everybody is stressed out as well and I'm feeling this at the end of uni everyone is so stressed at the moment when you're leaving something everything just gets more intense and I feel like school is so damn hard sometimes but just letting you know that it's you're not on your own and it is it does get better and a lot of people go through it as well, it's not just you. When I went to university, I made sure that I was gonna be with people who would accept me, would make me feel welcome, and then I found those people. I set out the intention of finding really great friends. At the end of university, where I am now, I am in my third year, I'm just about to finish university on the 26th of June, where I will graduate. I can safely say that I have the most amazing group of friends and I can safely say that I, I will be that I will be talking to these people for years, way past university. Basically what I want to say is, if you are feeling lonely, don't feel embarrassed about it. It's nothing to be ashamed of. And feeling lonely and being on your own is totally different. Feeling lonely is when you feel like you have nobody, when you feel like you need somebody, when you feel hopeless. And being alone is feeling at peace with yourself, being comfortable with being on your own. And that is something that I've had to deal with for a long, long time. And I feel like a lot of people are like this, especially with relationships. Like a lot of people are scared of being on their own. So they will hold on to a relationship that they're not comfortable with just so they can be with somebody. And I totally disagree with that. I can understand being with somebody to ride it out and see how it goes until you're comfortable enough to let that person go. I totally understand that because it's so hard. If there is space for you to let go of somebody and be on your own for a certain amount of time, just so you can find another decent friend, then just do that guys, be brave. I know it's so hard to be on your own. Just really find things that make you happy. Do your passions, do your hobbies. Also, if you feel like you need to get help, um, maybe go to a counsellor, talk to your parents, talk to your family, uh, talk to a chat forum online if you don't have anybody in your circle at the moment. If you are in a place that you feel so, so bad, then I'm here for you and I have been there before. And if that makes you feel a little bit better, then I hope it does. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it's really rambly. Um, I hope it makes sense. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more of these pyjama chats, um, the reason why I call it pyjama chats is I want it to be really casual. I don't want it to be kind of like, like, amazing lighting, amazing clothes, stuff like that as, as much as I love that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just gonna drink the rest of my tea. So thank you so, so much for watching guys. I love you so, so much and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.